welcome to the show. I am your host, Brian Lee Watley. Our story begins tonight with our very special guest, Uzbekistan model actress Natasha Kismet, to talk about her movie, Stripper Natasha Kismet, her website, and all kinds of fun stuff. Her movie is one of the sexiest original comedies to come along in years, starring the very funny, very talented, and gorgeous actress pinup model. The movie chronicles Natasha's coming to America from her native Uzbekistan to pursue fame and fortune. If only it was that easy. She finds that all the men she runs into because of her amazing assets want just one thing. And all the women in the movie, well, are strippers. Eventually, she is tricked into going to a porn convention where a variety of people try to recruit her to do porn. Can they talk her into it? Well, finally she decides she goes to see a priest to save her soul. And he finds he wants her body, not her soul. So what is a girl to do? The movie has had strong film festival recognition and garnered Natasha the Silver Screen Best Actress Award from the Nevada Film Festival. And some of Natasha's acting talents include comedic and improvisation, which you will find a lot of in this movie, and it's hilarious. If you don't laugh your butt off at this coming to America style of movie, you're probably thinking about the wrong thing. Our musical guest tonight is League of Liars with their amazing bass guitar rhythm sound on their song and enjoyment. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome, Natasha. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing awesome. I'm really excited to talk to you. It's been I've been having smiles all day long when I found out that uh, you were going to get a chance to be on our show tonight. Everybody that works for the show is so excited. Um, but before we get into all the really cool stuff, I want to talk about your movie a little bit later on. But before we get into that, tell us a little bit more about yourself, if you don't mind. Well, uh, I'm originally from former part of Soviet Union, Uzbekistan, and I moved to Denver, Colorado, United States, in 2005. And then everything just started going like crazy in my life. And I'm very, very happy about that, actually. I'm just staying busy, busy, busy. And I enjoy living in the United States, it's the greatest country. <laughs> <laughs> and um, everything is going great, so I produce movie, and I'm staying busy being a model, and everything is great. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I love it. That's awesome to hear. Now, you're, um, you say you're in Denver, Colorado? Yes. Now, that's one of my favorite teams. I've, I've been there a couple of times, um, the Denver Broncos. Are you a big fan of football and sports? Yes, I love, I love Broncos. They're my favorite team, and I love sports in general. I love Broncos. I love Denver Nuggets. Basketball team, they're very cool, too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like sports, yes. I'm still trying to get used to uh, baseball because it, it wasn't really, really uh, popular in in Europe or in, in uh, Uzbekistan or in Russia, so I'm, start, I'm kind of getting used to that, you know. I, I don't understand the rules and so on and so on, but basketball and football is very cool, yeah. I like it. Yeah, I love um I love the Broncos. Um, I got a chance to to see the the Rockies, Colorado Rockies, um, when I was up there last time. Um, I didn't get a chance to watch one of the basketball games, but um, the sports up there and just the whole climate, the area is absolutely beautiful. So um, the fact that you get to live there and you get to go around, you know, the Broncos with Tim Tebow now that he's gone, and you know they have a new quarterback coming in. <laughs> <laughs> that whole new guy that's coming in. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you know, everybody, I know a lot of people from Colorado who are really, really fanatic of Broncos, and they, they really believe that we actually we can get to the uh, playoff here, Peyton Manning. He is, he, he, he is really cool, I think. So hopefully, yeah, yeah, we, we really hope. <laughs> this is all we can do. We can, we can only hope. <laughs> so whenever you're at some of these games, um, do you have like mascots going crazy over you or people trying to take your picture? Because you are a beautiful model actress. Um, how is it? You. How is it? How is it whenever you're at some of these games in a public setting like that? Oh my God! It's just like I, I can't believe you just asked me that. It's just well, <laughs> this Sunday, well, it's like is everybody is everybody knows the Dutch playoff and. I went to the game because I thought it was very important, and I got the most closest, the, the very closest seat, which was 
right behind the bench, power player. And I'm like, I'm going to watch everything. I'm so excited. I'm like shaking, you know, I'm very happy. Like, it was like really, really cool moment. And, well, uh, our mascot is Rocky, which is a mountain lion. He's actually an amazing mascot. He's one of the best mascots in the United States, actually. And what was going on, he was like walking by me and I started waving to him like, can I take pictures of you please? <laughs> and he came to me and he said like, well, well, he doesn't talk, of course, nobody talks, but he, <laughs> right. he, he showed the body language amazingly. So he like showing like he, he, he got completely amazed and like, <laughs> he was to avoid me and he's still coming back. <laughs> As a performer, as an actress, you have um, this new movie that's coming out. But I'd like to talk a little bit about your acting skills, if you don't mind. Um, because mm-hmm. your movie is absolutely hilarious in such a good, positive way about what it is. And um, what I like about it and what so many people like about it is just your um, comedian improvisation kind of work that's on it. Now, I don't know if it, the whole thing was scripted. and Most movies are. You know, they have these lines that you have to follow but um, can you talk about what it is that you like to do when you're acting, some of your performance skills, things like that? Yeah, uh, well, improvisation, yeah, that's true. You, you notice it, right? It's, it's my main skill, actually. Well, what is interesting, uh, when I moved to the United States, uh, I started watching Curb Your, on, Curb Your Enthusiasm with Larry David, and from the beginning I hated it. And after the second season, I just fell in love with it, and I seen that Larry David is actually doing a lot of improvisation, like crazy. And I read how they were doing the whole entire uh, show. They would just try to, uh, they would just make a skeleton, just like idea, and they would have right. an idea, but then they would just impro- improvise. So in, in my case, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> like, okay, I want to be like Larry David. Well, decide what kind of idea would be, and then we'll just improvise. And... It's it really just up to people, you know, who are surrounding me, how they're going to react on that. And in my case, well, I'm just really sharp and very quick. So if somebody says so, I, I have, I, I know what to answer immediately, so it's easy for me, you know. And although, you know, it's English, which is not my first language, it's sometimes I get kind of frustrated. I know how I would say in Russian, which is my native language. But in English, I have ah, 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 in my heart. She may agree. I mean, hey. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just funny. But anyway, yeah, improvisation is my main skill, and I like doing that. It just, but when we were making the movie, we still wrote the script. We did because uh, it was very important, you know, because people who were uh, who had uh, in the movie, they they got used. They, they couldn't improvise. So the first part of the movie was uh, scripted. The second part, which is happening in Miami, Miami Beach, is all improvised, complete. The whole entire uh, segment. Oh, my it's God. Like, like 15 minutes or 20. We should have shot it in, uh, more than an hour, but then we chopped it. We made it right. more, uh, shorter because it was too long. And it's all improvised completely. 
Oh, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. The um now the movie we're talking about we'll get to in great detail in a minute. The title of it's called Stripper Natasha Kismet. So that's the name of the movie yeah. and everybody needs to go check it out on on Amazon and um all the major websites out there. But um what to talk about improvis improvisation and comedian acting, that is one of the most hardest types of acting to do. A lot of people can't handle it. They're really great at memorizing lines, but they can't handle off the cuff just off the top of their head thinking and acting it out. So the fact that you guys were able to do it so much, um, that's huge. That's really, that's really big. Well, thank you. Well, we, we just had, like, you know, skill on, on the line with two rocks. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Skill on the rocks with two lines. This is what I said. I said, actually, like, can I get the skill on the line with two rocks? And you're like, you're like, didn't you get it already? Maybe she thought you already had a couple of tequilas already. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what I'm drinking in my movie all the time. Tequila, I mean. Um, no, actually, I had wine, too. But no, I'm not drinking there, like, all the movie. But when they had their, their, their circumstances, uh, drinking tequila, usually, yeah. Yeah. Or red wine. I love tequila. Love, love, love tequila. So And I red love, wine, actually. Tequila, too. Those are my two favorite drinks, is wine and tequila. Yeah. <laughs> Around a bunch of football mascots. <laughs> Let's drink some tequila with some mascots. <laughs> Do some improvisation movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, um, besides the movie part, the, you've also done commercials. And um, the you've also produced and you've done some writing and stuff like that, right? Yes, yes. Well, I was involved in the production of a commercial uh, Fat Burger. I don't know if you guys have Fat Burger in your area. Mm -hmm. So, and it was actually pretty big hit. People was recognizing me on the street, everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> so, like, oh my God, that's a Fat Burger girl. You don't eat Fat Burger. Do you? I'm like, no, I eat it every day. Are you kidding me? Two shakes for sure. <laughs> <laughs> if I can't have burger, I'll have two shakes, okay? One or two. <laughs> and I will shake my chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it was funny, yeah. People were very excited. It was a lot of it was recognizing me, and it was a lot of fun to make it. I didn't get paid a lot, but it was very good exposure, you know. I mean, I like to do commercials, and, like, promoting any kind of stuff. So that's why I actually started right now my uh, video blog on YouTube channel, which is Natasha Kismet TV. And also you can find it on my website, which is natashakismet.com. And also on Facebook, of course, which is Natasha Kismet. <laughs> <laughs> Because in my case, when I buy stuff, I first I Google it. 
And if I don't find the reviews, I'm not happy about it. I would probably treat myself not to buy it. Because I don't know. I mean, I have to read the real reviews, you know. And if there is no real reviews, no shopping for me. So, and that's why I decided to do myself. So right. I'm reviewing the product. And I say the truth, how it feels. Should we use it or we shouldn't? At least this is what I'm doing. And I think it's cool. It's helpful for everybody. And it's for women, but it's for men too. Because I'm always dressed sexy. So men can enjoy it too. <laughs> which is very important. That you is know, very, very, very important. important part, very important part of our of human life. Even if they say no, that's not true. Okay? So, snap of it and get over it. Please. <laughs> the main part of our life. <laughs> well, there you go, everybody. <laughs> Just get over it. That's the main part of our life. From Natasha Kismet. <laughs> um, now, your video blogs, one, one of them that I watched was um, about Gloss Modern Hair, the product line yeah. there. And you say you take that from start to finish. And what I liked about it is you actually showed from the beginning of not having the product on to then having the product on, right? Right. And what was so cool about that is you actually saw the transformation transformation of what the product did. And I thought that was cool as well. So um, tell us a little bit about Gloss Modern Hair. If you were to review it real quick, what could you say good well, about gl it? Gloss Modern is a line. It's actually a um, very good line. It's uh, English shampoo, conditioner, mask. And serum, and it actually claims that it uh, moisturizes your hair a lot, and it's very good for people who has very frizzy hair, and uh, probably it will be very good for uh, Afro American girls who has like very frizzy hair, and instead of just like doing all this uh, straightening or I don't know what they're doing, they're making their hair straight, so because right. it's a lot of frizz there. So it will be very good for their hair, too. In my case, I dye my hair, so my hair is very dry. So it's freezy, too. <clears throat> it doesn't have any shine because it's completely, like, dull, very dull hair. So I need some shine, and it's very important for me because when I do photo shoot, you have to have very healthy look, you know, very, very healthy look hair. So, and it's, it's very, it's, yeah, it does work, it does. I, I'm, I'm very surprised because I have used a lot of products. You have no idea how many. I, and that one has really worked, and they're not paying me for it. They don't really probably know about my existence. <laughs> <laughs> but and I'm not promoting it. I'm just saying that, like, exactly, this exactly. product really works. Right, exactly. It's surprising, yeah. And, like, yeah, you use, like, shampoo, you wash it, then you condition, then you use mask, and serum is by the very end. And you can use serum actually during like any day, like just to give some shine to your hair and it's in texture, kind of like dry texture, you know, it's like separate your waist and gives like body to and it's not not heavy at all for hair, it's very lightweight. It doesn't sweat your hair down, which is good. Yeah, and doesn't make your hair greasy unless your hair I've actually in my video I didn't wash my hair probably like what? I just don't have time. I would just do ponytail and that's it. <laughs> and I don't have photo shoots. I don't have anything that fits. I didn't wash my hair because, you know, well, you, I don't know, you probably don't, you don't, you don't dye your hair, right? So you don't know about that. People who dye their hair, they try to call as long as possible, which means you don't wash it very often. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes I get highlights. So, um... Have yeah, sometimes oh, I do you have highlights. I you. Now you make me curious. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to the website brownleewatley.com, that's what I'll look like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have all kinds of different hairstyles. You'll see photos of me just like with long hair, short hair, color, you know, blonde highlights, you know, all kinds of other stuff. So I just well, love. Then, then, you then, you then you understand what I'm talking about. You know, when you dye your hair sometimes, you know how it feels. It's really dry and it's not life anymore. It's not like healthy anymore. It's just it's bad. And it's uh, basically it's uh, chemical treatment, tre treated hair, which is yeah. And in Colorado, in particular in Colorado, it's very dry here. It's like very dry. There is no any moisture here, so hair is getting drier even faster, you know. And yeah, I think it's working. So it's up to 
you know, people, I mean, somebody will like it, somebody wouldn't. It worked for me, so, and I can tell my hair is not in the best shape. So. <laughs> well, that's what I liked about your blogs, is that it was it was very real. It You obviously, well, it wasn't obvious. I couldn't tell whether or not you were actually publicizing it because you are getting paid to do it, but I got the feeling that you weren't, and it was just a very real review, and that's the kind of reviews I like, is people go out there and say, look, I tried this product, this is what happened, you can actually see it for yourself, you know, you showed your hair from the beginning, then after you put your product on, and it really did look amazing um, after you put it on and come back and showed it and everything like that. And I was like, oh, wow, you know, that's that's pretty good. And <laughs> and the just the whole review was just real. And I assume you improv it, right? I'm sorry. I said I assume you improv the video, right? It's all improv. Oh yeah, it was total improv. It was total improvisation. So, yeah, <laughs> it's just like we just decided what we're going to talk about. And uh, I didn't do any, you know, like, didn't practice at all. We just started shooting. Except, and, you know, I was actually, I really wanted to make video even more simple. Like, like you know, like, Carillo camera, you know, without any lighting. And the producer was like, please let me use it with at least one light. <laughs> I'm like, okay. First, you actually staged it, like, like, five or six lights around me. I'm like, okay. It will not work. It looks completely promotional it's not real no i'm not going to do it i want to do something for fun and i'm doing it for fun to be honest with you because i need some you know practice in front of camera sometimes so that's why i'm doing it <laughs> <laughs> oh okay so that's where it comes out <laughs> <laughs> i'm kidding no but <laughs> no i'm serious she put like so many lights in front of me i'm like no 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 let's do just one light let's make it more real you know natural we don't need to do something like way, way, way crazy and too, too you know, professional. It's not because most of the people who actually get hit on uh, YouTube, they they just do like almost like with their like iPhone. They shoot it with, and they get like 30 million hits all of a sudden. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> and the video looks so cheesy and it's like, it they still get some you know response. So that's why it should be more, more. Should be more natural, you know, more realistic. Not like somebody's saying it for me, and it's not. Exactly. Nobody pays me for the videos. Exactly, and that's and that's what's so great about the videos. And so I look forward to seeing more of your blogs and more of your reviews and things like that, is because it's very natural and you're very real about doing it. And everybody can check this out on NatashaKismet.com and also her YouTube sites and things like that. Um, so please keep them up because I'm definitely going to be watching. They're not only very entertaining, but they're very informational as well. So. Um, good job on that. Very good job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely gonna watch that one. <laughs> I'll just keep hitting the rewind button. <laughs> Why do I like them too? They're really comfortable. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I love your accent. Oh, it's, your accent is just driving me crazy. It's so good, um, and you speak English very, very well. By the way, I just well, just want to throw that out there. So, okay, I'm glad this is not a, a video record right now because otherwise you'd see my cheeks. They are so red right now. They're just blushing because I'm I'm laughing so hard. This is awesome. Um, okay, so let's talk a little bit about your movie. You've got this really great movie that's out there. It's called Stripper Natasha Kismet. And um, it came out in 2009, and it's now streaming on Netflix, and everybody can get this off of um, Amazon and let me see where else Amazon and iTunes and Zoom, the Marketplace and Voodoo. Voodoo. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now this movie actually won in I think it's the Nevada Film Festival. Is the we got the, we, yeah we got we got I got Silver Screen Award at the Nevada Film Festival in 2009. Like is a uh, best actress, yeah. Congratulations. Yes. And yeah, it, it was very interesting because it was our first festival we, uh, uh, actually, um, uh, decided to go to and they, we, we <laughs> I got the nomination, I got the nomination and I won. I'm like, oh my god, that's a great start. Let's do, next will be <laughs> <laughs> Sundance. Yeah, of course we didn't get the Sundance, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been to Sundance, not because of a movie, but I was there for other reasons. But um, well, it's pretty. Well, you know what? It's, it's, it's their laws, not mine, right? Exactly, exactly. 
You know that guy, Robert Redford, or whoever he is that runs Sundance? He better get with a picture. Nikaj, Natasha Kismet's on the scene now. He needs to have you up there. <laughs> <laughs> She's old, that's why. There's no. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was up there whenever there was um, a little person by the last name of Spears, I won't mention, um, that she was walking around, and there was all kinds of other people walking around, and I got a chance to meet... Um, you know, it's all kinds of different people, and it was so much fun meeting everybody and just having so much. So, it was just so entertaining. So I think you should definitely oh, get to Sundance. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Sundance. 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 From outside, can gather. But otherwise, it's a great opportunity for people. Yeah, why not? Yep. And that's okay. We're still on Netflix. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Everybody, check this out on Netflix. Um, now, this movie is—it's kind of called one of the sexiest original comedies in years. It's very, very funny. It's uh, you know very talented from your improv work that you're going through it, and you've got really great reviews on it. People have like four out of five stars, five stars, five stars, five stars, and um, there was even one guy. I won't mention his name or anything, but this is his review. He says it's incredibly sexy, very well written. It's a great story of someone who may look like the typical bombshell model to everyone she comes across on the outside. But she's not stupid. She does achieve what she wants, despite the crazy obstacles that get in her way. Again, very witty. You will laugh your ASS off when you watch this. Please check out this movie. Very clever. That's a great review. Um, and it's the page and all the reviews are just filled up like that. And when they go to check out the trailer, if you just watch the trailer, um, it, trust me, you will want, everybody that's listening around the world, you will want to go check out this movie because it's ha absolutely hilarious from watching it. Can you give us a little bit of brief outline on, on what the movie is about? Yeah, of course. So the story is about a girl who is coming from Uzbekistan to the United States, and she has a dream that she was... She, she is a professional belly dancer and dancer, and she wants to produce her show, belly dancing show in Denver, Colorado, which, yeah, is the best idea ever, across anybody's <laughs> mind, right? <laughs> <laughs> of course, the show, the, the show doesn't work. She spends all her money, and then she starts looking for a job. And because she is very sexy looking, and it, her friend tried to steer her into like sexual business, you know, like be, become a prostitute or go to strip club, and she tried to find some other job, and it doesn't work well. So she ends at strip club, basically. And the story goes from there. And she meets other people, and you should just watch it. I cannot tell you the whole story, then you'll not watch it anymore. <laughs> oh, trust me, people will watch this movie. <laughs> but there is a lot of there is a lot of fun scenes. It's uh, it's very silly. Just don't take it very seriously, because one of, one of my friends she asked for a copy. I got it. I gave it to her, and she came back next day. She said, Natasha, I actually. I feel so bad for you. Do you really need job? Do you like? Uh, I actually am going to become. I'm going to the medical center. I'm going to become a nurse. So you want to try to get the job too? I'm like, well, can you imagine if I'll be a nurse there? They'll fire me the first day. Be nurse, so, good honey, body. You go by yourself. You, you just go there by yourself. No, I don't want to trust people too much. Somebody can get fired with that. No. <laughs> I need CPR, I need mouth to mouth, I need some resuscitation, please. I need Nurse Kismet, please. Stat. Code Blue. No, it's, yeah, people just shouldn't take it very seriously. It's really funny and silly. That's it. If you want to have fun time, relax and laugh a lot. I mean, unless you are just like a very serious person, so you probably shouldn't watch it. And if you're not into sexy women and sexy stuff and people with an accent, don't watch it. <laughs> Otherwise, if you are totally in, into that, you'll have so much fun, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. If you want to watch a hot Russian, Uzbekistan model actress with a great personality and improv skills, um, it's an amazing, amazing movie, no doubt. 
Now, there's some of the scenes that I liked in it um, from watching the trailers and stuff like that is you have, like what you're talking about, where she goes around trying to find all these different jobs with one of them being, I think, um, she tries to get as a bartender or as a waitress or something like that the where she, she gets confused on whether the ice or the... Oh, barista. It was coffee barista, yeah. It's actually it's a real story because when I just moved to the United States, uh, my English was very poor. It was not all right for communication, but when you are working at these kind of places like, you know, bar or coffee shop or store, you have to listen very well. And this is our problem of, uh, problem of uh, uh, people who are coming from different countries and English is not their language. We don't hear it well, you know what I mean? Right, we, try right. to, we, we hear the first word and last word, and we don't hear what is in the middle, and we decide that this is what we should do. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not so, you know. This is, it's, it's basically, it's really, it's, it's, it's a matter of the time, you know. It's like, it, it will come later, you'll, you'll feel more relaxed and comfortable with the language, but when you're just coming here, it is really difficult. And... What this is what I like about America. People are very tolerant. They they don't they don't judge you for that. They don't turn their hands away from you because you don't speak. But they they are on the corner. They are very happy that you are actually trying. You are learning. Right. You are doing something. But in this kind of jobs, yeah, you can actually. What happened? So I started working actually at was Starbucks. It was uh, it wasn't Fast Bowl, which is famous brand here and then. It's actually Russian. Russian uh, company was opened by Russian people. Oh, nice. So yeah, I was working for Starbucks and they were very, very actually nice with me, people who worked there, but I just figured out my, they, they didn't say me, they didn't tell me you're fired, you should stop working here. They were just like, they were a little bit overwhelmed and I felt that, so I just decided to leave myself, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just stopped working there. I'm like, okay, it's just not my job for now. I should stop doing that because I'm not ready yet. And it's totally normal. So people who are coming here, this is a good actually advice. Don't try to get a job if you don't have very good language. <laughs> don't try to get a job when somebody can judge you for that, you know. And <laughs> you'll you'll just feel like you're an idiot. And you're not. I mean, if you're just learning the English, you're getting there, it's not doesn't mean that you're an idiot. It means it's just you just have some struggling, you know, with language and you'll get there one day for sure. <laughs> That's it. So that was my problem. So I just they didn't fire me, but I just stopped working myself because it wasn't my job for that time. I can probably would just, I I can probably work right now. Maybe I should change my difference. Maybe I should become buddy speaking. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 It would be the hottest coffee shop house in the world, trust me, if you did, but no, 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 no. Yeah, people would choke on the coffee, right? I like you as a model actress. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a whole new Hooters for coffee. I, I don't know. I just <laughs> now another funny scene that I liked in here is whenever you you were like having this really tough time and you know going through some 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 problems trying to get a job and everything else and you go to get soul with a priest and this priest just starts hitting on you and he do, he like leaks your head or something like that. And he, and you're like, what? Did you just? And, um, he's like, no, 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 that's what we do here. That's what we do. And <laughs> I was rolling. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> it was, we were actually inspired by the uh, guy, uh, which happened here in Colorado. He was pissed and he was doing some bad stuff with the boys, you know. Not with the girls, with the boys. Uh -oh. he, it was in 2009, actually, this is when it happened. They found out that gay, which is nothing wrong to be gay, but when you're doing something wrong for the boys, it's not gay, it was more like pedophile, right? Right, right. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so we kind of like got him as a, a prototype of that uh, story. Yeah, and the guy like, the, the guy who was playing this, he said like, I want to I wanna do his character, because he's just like so, and he... <laughs> <laughs> he he just nailed it. He did great. And by the way, that scene was improvisation too. What? He didn't write anything. It was total improvisation. That's why when he licked me, and I hate when somebody licks me, you know, on my face, right in that part. I mean, I don't know how he knew that. I was like, he licked me, and I'm like, oh my god, ah, what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> with the camera, and he was like, he was like, 
could not go even even worse than this book of pardon is and not funny anymore. <laughs> he's he's stuck looking me. That's not bad. <laughs> Well, that explains the look on your face then, because I swear I was like going, man, that was a really good scene when you just did that, but it was all improv, and he really licked you, and you didn't know about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. That was so funny that he brought the champagne glass for red wine. <laughs> of the body drink of the blood. <laughs> right. It's like he... was wanting to save your soul. I don't think the priest was wanting to do that. <laughs> what is the girl to do? <laughs> Come here, Father. Let me show you how that's done. <laughs> Just chug away. <laughs> Mel Gibson licks your face. Would you react that way? Uh, well, Mel Gibson would be Mel Gibson, right? I would expect it from him, <laughs> not from Prince. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mel, go ahead. You got my, you got my permission. <laughs> I don't think he was, he was dealing with Russian girls again, actually. He got a bad, bad experience. <laughs> yeah, that one chick. Another funny scene. Another funny scene was in that movie. Is whenever you, um, you, I think you had gotten the job at the dance club, or at least you thought it was a dance club, up until a certain right. part where you re recognized, wait a minute, this is not your typical dance club. <laughs> now was that improv as well? <laughs> no, it was actually it was staged. Yeah, it was scripted. That part was scripted. Everything what was done at a uh, strip club, it was actually scripted. Okay. And yeah, every scene from from the plot, yeah, it's just very very popular here in Colorado. In the Colorado shotgun here. Okay, so that's world the part famous. that. Oh, go ahead. It's world famous. World famous shotgun village. <laughs> 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 So, which gives birth to the name of the movie is Stripper Natasha Kismet. From, I guess, maybe from that scene where you start going into um, doing that kind of work on the movie. And um, sales have been phenomenal for this movie, right? I mean, it's just really, really sold a whole lot all over, especially with it now being on Netflix, streaming on Netflix. So, did you think that the movie was going to be this big? Um, you know what? <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't. We just have done it like we just decided to do it because what what happened? Uh, I was doing my website earlier, and then we started doing the videos for website, which was completely like innocent website modeling, you know, nothing special. Right. Never done porn. Never never done porn in my life. <laughs> and um, we just you know, like very sexy pictures, you know, with images and you know. Yeah. Anyway, 
Right. So, and we decided to do the uh, videos, and then we went to a uh, uh, porn convention, actually. And I said, well, we're going to go to a porn convention, and I'm going to show that I actually interview, I can actually interview people. And it was easier for me, because people from porn business, they're more the love. And right. they'll let you do that. You know, they'll just let you interview them, because... They're just very hungry for that. Yeah. I mean, you cannot go to other, you know, places like even like Sundance. Nobody will even talk to you. Right. Exactly. There. Yeah, you're talking about the convention in Las Vegas? Yes. Yeah, it's yes. huge. It was, massive, it was, massive convention. A lot of people, yes. And so I started interviewing them, and I was doing like total impro and I I I improvisation. And then the director was like, oh, my God, Michael Drum. He's like, oh, my God, you should actually... Should think about that because you are doing a pretty good job in front of the ca in front of the camera. You should try actually. We should try to do movie with you. And yeah, like yeah, my whole entire sh uh, my whole entire life is a movie. You wanna start from Uzbekistan <laughs> or when I just moved here? <laughs> that was a very long movie. It was like Gun with the Wind movie. People will start falling asleep. <laughs> Well, I think this movie is, is it's been a big hit already and it's it's just growing in popularity and again everybody needs to go check it out. Um you can get this from Amazon dot com, iTunes, Zoom, Marketplace, uh Voodoo. But if you order the D V D from Amazon, you get this special treatment. What is that special treatment? Yes, I'm I'm doing the special treatment for people who are buying it on Amazon, which is D V D. So it's uh basically I autograph it to personalize it name of the buyer, and I kiss it with the red lipstick, and it's my lips, it's not, not, not some guy lips or... <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> not my lips, you, you'll see it, it's definitely my lips okay. there, with red lipstick, and the lipstick is very good, it's safe. <laughs> <laughs> is this a product you reviewed, the lipstick? Oh, I want to review that lipstick for sure, it's red one, it's actually red color, is my favorite, and yeah, that lipstick is like seven hours, three, seven hours long. Yeah, I want to review it, too. I, it's a good idea. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> okay, so whenever people get the DVD from Amazon, they get um, an actual red lipstick kiss on it, and it is from you. It's not some guy or some old woman or something like that that you have just extras helping you out doing it. So, guys, whoever go to pick it up and try to, you know, kiss the DVD, it is actually her. So no worries about that. Um, now, there is some top of the scenes in this movie, correct? So just, you know, use your, your judgment in watching it with kids and everything else. Probably not, right? So, um, but the name of the movie is, is Stripper Natasha Kismet, and I, I guarantee you, everybody that's listening to this, it's an amazing, amazing, funny, funny movie. So just just go on YouTube and check it out. Just go on her website, natashakismet.com, and check it out. Uh, just watch the trailers, and I guarantee you, you'll want to buy a copy of it. It's it's absolutely amazing. So I, I'm super excited for you, and I cannot wait for you to do more of these. You really need to do. You really need to do more of these. So I know this is your first one or one of your first main ones. You've been doing some commercials and you're a beautiful model and everything else. But do some more of these. It's it's genius type of stuff. It's really good. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, you're so very welcome. Thank you, for, so, thank you so, so for being so optimistic. That's really actually supporting. I really appreciate that. You are such a sweet heart. Thank you. Oh. oh, well, you're so welcome. <laughs> um, okay, so for some... Future shows and um, projects and stuff like you're working on, is there any personal appearances where people can go and get autographed copies or, or um, get some autographed photographs or anything um, of you? So everybody's listening right now. Where is going to be my next personal appearance? Uh, usually I go to Target <laughs> and Walmart. <laughs> and I do not shop at North Storm. Usually I go to North Storm Rock because the name is very related to me. <laughs> so your next personal appearance is going to be at the Red Target. <laughs> oh, that's genius. <laughs> you know, it's not genius. It's a coffee shop like Starbucks or Dark Wolf, which is located here in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> so when they walk I like in... They walk in, they'll see you sitting off to the left. You'll say, hi, welcome to Walmart, give them a buggy. You know, would you like an autograph kind of thing? <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> I, always, I always have a bunch of them in, in my 
my car, yeah. I'll do that, sure. <laughs> oh, my God. That's hilarious. Now all these guys all over the place and girls and I are going to be hanging out at Walmart Target. This is where she shops. This is where she shops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just a good person like anybody. Yeah, this is Target actually has very good bikinis, by the way. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should do a review on that on your website on Target Bikinis. Oh, I'm going to, by the way, yes, uh, I'm going to actually, uh, this month I go to Mexico for vacation and I'm going to review five different bikinis and say what was the best. I'm actually, when, when, I, when, I, when, uh, when you called me, I was uh, shopping on Victoria's Secret. I want to buy a bikini, very cute one. By the way, I have a question. What is best? Like, white or. Yellow. What is your favorite color? What is my favorite? Um, yes. I don't know. What I kinda... should I get? Why, why do yellow? Why do yellow? I think, well, okay, you're going to get me all to my own fashion little thing. Okay, if, if... I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll get both of them. Okay, that's great. That's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go, I'll Ooh, man, I was starting yellow. to sweat there. I was like, oh, why yellow? Why white? Why yellow? Why white? They both look great on you. I don't know. <laughs> That's all very important stuff to review, and you got to be very careful yeah. and very slow about that. Make sure we get it all in. Make sure we understand exactly. everything, especially the whole water part. <laughs> <laughs> iPhone, can I be the cameraman? Come on, let's go to Mexico. Okay, there we go. The best place to hang out. With some tequila. Exactly, in Corona. Oh my god. That's hilarious. Oh my goodness, that is so funny. All right, man. Oh my god, my cheeks are hurting so bad. Okay, um,. For people to be able to contact you through your website, we have Natasha Kisman. I'm going to spell this out. N-A-T-A-S-H-A-K-I-Z-M-E-T dot com. Natasha Kismet dot com. You're on Facebook yes. up underneath Natasha Kismet. On YouTube, on Natasha Kismet TV. Don't forget the TV part of it. And then on Twitter, you're on Kismet Natasha. It's the last name first and the first name last. And so check, check her out on, um, on Twitter as well. And the movie, again, um, Stripper Natasha Kismet, is available on DVD from Amazon. You can get it from iTunes. You can get it from Zoom Marketplace, Voodoo. Don't forget, if you order it from Amazon, you get this special treatment from Miss Kismet that you will want to uh, savor. That's all I got to say. Um, but it's an amazing movie. I'm so proud to be able to talk to you. I'm so honored. This has been such a great time for me. It's been so much fun. <laughs> and um, I really want you to do some more of these reviews, and I really want you to do some more movies and stuff like that. So don't stop. And your modeling obviously is is beautiful, without a doubt. You're a very beautiful person inside and out. So thank you so much. I would like to ask you one more thing. Do you have any final thoughts that you would like for everyone to know about you, or just know in general? Well, you know, very important thing, uh, very, very, very important thing in our life, be very happy. It's it's the only thing. Well, even if you cannot be happy, well, you know, go and enterprise them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> then you'll forget that you're not happy because you'll be exercising. This is how I think myself. But, yeah, it's a very important part of your life to be happy because, yeah, you cannot make a lot of money. You'll never make all the money in the world, of course. And money doesn't make people happy. But, like, I mean, uh, people who surround us and your animal, your dog, your cat, your anything, you know, your flower, your plant in your house. Like, makes you happy, just go and have, you know, I mean, have some fun in your life, that's it. I mean, 
America is such a great country. I'm sorry, but it, it is what it is. And like, maybe somebody will hate me for that, but I think America is a great country, and I feel so comfortable here, so protected and happy. This is the best place to be. Oh. So, snap on it and be happy. <laughs> That's so very well said. It's like, okay, I'm not, now, I feel, now, now I kind of sound patriotic, but yeah, very important part of our lives. Be happy. Because when people who, people who surround you, and they see that you're not happy, they, they kind of get, they're getting bad wife too. So we have to be very careful with our, you know, very close people around us, like relatives and people we love, we cherish, you know, and that's very important. I completely right? agree. I completely agree. Laughter and being happy is, is one of the most beautiful parts of life, and you should not miss out on it. So, um, well said. I like that. Very beautiful final thought. So, on behalf of everyone here at the Brian Lee Wally Show, for all the editors and producers and, and people that work behind the scenes, thank you so much, Natasha, for being on the show. It's been an absolute pleasure talking with you. I'm going to be thinking about this for so many days and all the times that it replays and all the stations that play this, this show. Um, it's going to be so great. So, thank you so much. Thank you, my pleasure. And come back to Denver. Again, we have been there, and so you're welcome. You have, you have somebody who is very, very close to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, if I get a chance to get up there coming this Saturday, I definitely will. I'll just be knocking on your door. Natasha, Natasha, I'll bring some red wine and some tequila, and I'll be wearing a mascot. So that'll okay, be me. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so much and I hope you have a very beautiful night and a week ahead thank you right. thank you bye bye please welcome our musical guest League of Liars with their song An Enjoyment
a word from our sponsors. At Tyler Gifts, we do customized monogramming and embroidery. We can monogram anything from a simple one name on a bib for a baby to a customized logo on a company shirt. We can make gifts for your wedding entourage and gifts for your friends. Label your children's items for school and put names on jerseys for sports. If you have items of your own you want to monogrammed and embroidered, we can do that. Taylor Gifts are sewn with high-quality thread on a professional embroidery machine. So go to the website, www.taylorgifts.net, call 251-391-4354, email sales at taylorgifts.net, visit us at ETSY, and Facebook us. We are ready for your orders. Welcome to WROM, Realms of Music Radio and Social Network. We support independent artists and talk shows, hosting a large discussion forum and an artist gallery. We also have a large social network combining the best of Facebook and MySpace into one. So make sure you submit your music to us and create a profile to promote yourself today. That's realmsofmusic.com, the best of music radio. The Ghost Tales Television Network, GTN. GTN is designed to give the paranormal TV and filmmaking community the opportunity to showcase their talents and creations. If you believe you have what it takes to create your very own TV show and or short film and you would like the opportunity to showcase your creations, you may contact us at ghosttalestv at gmail.com or call 901-377-7166 for more details. Make sure you visit ghosttalestv.com. GTN, America's paranormal superstation. Jackalope 105 FM on Jackaloperadio.com, your alternative to the grind of internet and FM radio. When we say diversity in programming, we mean it. Lots of stations brag, throw out a hype, and pad their numbers. Well, we don't. Accept no limitations. When you truly want awesome 24-hour radio, tune in to Jackalope and rock your routine. Jackalope 105 FM on Jackaloperadio.com. Thank you for listening to the show. I am your host, Brian Lee Watley. I hope you have an amazing weekend, and I look forward to seeing you next time when another story begins. Until then, love and light.